Hello everyone, Becca here, back, back with the market. <laughs> Hello, what's up? Yeah, so we're like literally five minutes after the previous commentary. Of course, for you guys in, in like normal person time, it's going to be like maybe a week or something. Probably. After the I like the one. idea of uploading like a single eight minute episode. So let's go with that. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're, we're here to do the Gorgon chapter. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I hope it's going to be just as easy. I'm very happy to like light my own torture like this. Yeah. Thanks, young Mecca. I really appreciate that. We got Orson, so this yeah. will probably be a cakewalk too. Let's go. Yeah. He threw he threw us a fucking bone by giving us, <laughs> you know, Percival light. Uh huh. All right, soldier time. Oh, it's not just okay. There's there's more stuff here. Let's see what we got. Um. Well, not everything is an egg anymore. What the fuck? Why do you have demon surge? There's a monster. Uh, no, they could. I think everyone can use this weapon. Everyone can use the demon search. I think there's two yeah, weapons. There's, there's in the no 8, rank requirement for it. Yeah, it has a it has a dash rank requirement. I think the same goes for stone, uh, but stone gives you weapon XP, so you can teach people dark magic. People use this to like give like bishops dark magic sometimes in the creature campaign, and this yeah. thing also you can use, but it doesn't um, give you weapon XP. But it's still like pretty strong. My f my favorite thing is like. Having a bishop and having them S rank dark magic so they can use Nagopar and deal like Slayer effectiveness damage against other monsters and kill them in one hit. That is fun. These eggs look unchanged, but I see like a couple of like, okay. From at a glance, it feels like every enemy has been like, they're as annoying as Gorgons, but instead of Gorgons, they're just different things. What? Okay, so all the, all the human enemies have monster weapons, but these monsters have Okay, this guy just has Luna. Luna sucks, so good good riddance. But this is gonna be super annoying. They all have fucking oh my god, this is gonna is be Is it so gonna be annoying? annoying? I feel like that the, I feel like this is basically just the same chapter except that they just switched the classes of certain enemies. <laughs> I love that there's a tent here again with Stone and Demon Surge. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean I have the tent. In vanilla there is more eggs, and eggs don't fight back, and these guys will. So to get to the eggs and like stop them from hatching. We have to fight more human enemies. Normally you can like move pretty fast. But I guess we do have two Ooh. summoners. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. What if the eggs hatch and instead of Gorgons, there's just like normal regular oh, people in them? Oh, that is likely. That is more likely than I might think. Okay, I'm game. Let's let's check it out. I, I like, do want to work a, with you Natasha. You get a fucking egg that hatches a berserker. <laughs> yeah, oh shit. You know... Oh, he doesn't use light magic. Never mind. I should... I was thinking I should bring light magic on whoever can use it, but Molder can't use it. And Natasha already has it, so I guess there's no point. Let's go. I want to warp Molder forward because he's good. Let's go. Uh, actually, there's wow. No, mm. That feels like a waste of a warp step. Yeah, I forgot if magic was so low, so never mind. Maybe not. We'll just we'll just go ahead with uh, with Franz to kill an egg, I guess, and then we'll get a summon in to distract the gargoyles so that they don't murder Franz. And you know, we'll go from it's there. A, it's as they say, you gotta crack an egg to make an egg. <laughs> For sure. Okay, I guess I'll just like dance from. Oh, I can dummy these eggs. That's great. Okay, these eggs are done. These eggs are done. I'm getting rid of all these fucking eggs. Get out of here. This is the. This is what the dummy is for. This is what I use the dummy for. Twenty-four-seven. Yeah, molder time. God. Uh, someone else is playing this hack with zero percent growth because they're they hate themselves and. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, oh right, he his molder, he didn't get S rank dummy yet, or he didn't get S rank anima yet. He has like S rank dark, so he can't use the dummy, and he's like really disappointed in it. Ah, uh, uh, I see. Uh, I feel oh. like if you do a zero percent run of this game, this is the part where you use the fuck out of Orson. Ah, uh, yeah, for sure. He's gonna be very happy when he when he appears. Alright, good shit. Molder's gonna be very bulky here because all the enemies just use like monster weapons except this guy. Well, he's a silver lance. Are you serious right now? Uh, I want to alert the shadow shot guy too. Where is he? This guy. Uh, I could probably bait him. Yeah. Let's go up here. Summon. Whoop. Higher level summons. I can't even kill an egg with this summon, but I don't think I need to. I'm gonna move you just in range of the shadow shot guy. This is what I always do in Vanilla too. Just bait this guy as close as possible. And then the other summoner. I don't know how close he can get. I kind of want to lure away the, the the gargoyle with his silver lance away from like Tethys. In fact, he might even kill Lol. Actually, I kind of didn't take that into account. Oh, well, yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. Hopefully, he doesn't one shot him. He doesn't. Okay, so he's probably gonna go after the phantoms then. That's good. All right, Ephraim has the seek mood now that we haven't got to try out yet. 
So that's also going to be useful. And everyone else just goes about their merry way and moving ahead. Mm -hmm. So, like, question. Can you... You can dance hmm. for uh, phantoms, right? Yeah, I believe so. I'm going to do this. this. This feels good. Let's go. This, so is, like, this is too how perfect. Do, I, I've always wondered, like, how how that works like how, like do the phantoms have emotions for which to feel refreshed <laughs> from a dance like i guess these ones are raw so it technically counts but... <laughs> all right Ooh, but... nice dodge i don't know how that works i think it's just i think it's just i i'm not sure but i think this is a video game i think this might be a video game all right uh, oh, oh, you know oh nice you took the damage I oh considered nice. that. <laughs> all right uh, let's see. He's gonna kill Vanessa with a shadow shot, unless I bury her up, which I could do. But I have that in my convoy, I think. Also, no. I forgot this guy was around, and he can uh, he can warp people too with more range. So I should keep that in mind. I think uh, I think the best part of this chapter is that like recently I started to finally gain a taste for eggs. So this chapter is like, <laughs> oh, fuck, sign me up for this shit. <laughs> okay, I usually kill the Gorgon on turn two, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. So. Barrier Vanessa, just in case, so she doesn't die. Uh, soldier can take care of this guy now. Get this egg out of my way. Oh man, that's delicious. That delicious 50 XP for killing an egg. No matter what level you are, too, it's so generous. Yeah, okay, it there. always feels really good. Feels good, man. Feeling good. Okay, um, I'm gonna go here now. And uh, flux this guy because that mage knight doesn't have stone, he just has demon search. So Mulder will be able to take him on. Uh, this sniper has stone though, and this gargoyle just didn't move. So let's see, how about we go here, take out the gargoyle, and I'm gonna try to bait the sniper without baiting the mage knight. Yeah, it's gonna have to be, I think, two to the right. Yeah, I think so. And then the Shadow Shot guy needs to be able to attack me too, so he's gonna go like right here. And everyone else is just gonna move up. Moving on up in the world. You might go for Vanessa, for Vanessa too, potentially. I uh, don't need to Physic, I guess I'll Physic more. Ah, fuck it, we don't need to. And Yuan. And Null, I guess. Hmm. I don't know. Let's you know, move. thinking about it. Thinking about it, I feel like this and the next chapter are really the only ones left that matter in the original Fire Emblem 8. But by matter, you because, mean like story-wise, or...? Well, like, in terms of challenge, because this chapter has an interesting challenge to it where you gotta rush forward and break all the eggs. The next one's a, def a defense mission where obviously you can kill the boss to end it prematurely, but I feel like it's decently difficult to get to the boss, and the enemies are notably strong. But after that, no. After that, oh, 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 shit. He's shit. on a cliff now. Frank. That sucks. Yo, dudes, I'm friends and I'm fucking <laughs> stoned to shit. Oh no, oh Help no, me. it's falling apart. Oh no, my beautiful plan. We'll be fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, like after the defense mission, it's like the the last few chapters are like really easy, and you can sort of just go your own pace with them. They can be trivialized, yeah, but I might have took a taken measures against that. Anyway, I have to heal here, because uh, she's going to get her ass kicked. Yeah, she's going to die yeah. if I keep her here. So, uh, back up real quick. And yeah, Elixir up. Yeah, I've always hated this chapter for its for its difficulty, and like, it's so annoying, but it's also well designed. I can't hate this one. Uh, you can kill, right? No? Okay. I hate this chapter, but I don't. <laughs> I hate this chapter, but it's well designed. It's, it's, it's very annoying to play. Let's crit, no. Okay, it's a nice try, I guess. Um, whose summon is this? Um, who left their summon behind? Okay, Yuan did. Okay, so I can move with Yuan and attack something. Uh, which is perfect. Yay! Yeah, this was always, like, one of my favorite chapters, because it's really satisfying to destroy the eggs and get fuckloads of EXP. Oh, absolutely. It's It has a reward and it has a challenge. That's really the basics of what a good chapter needs. Oh, nice. Get out of here. Oh, tasty damage. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine when your like your personal weapon is stronger than your actual legendary weapon. You're like, alright, I'm gonna I like this, but I like this better. Mm. Mm. I don't want to be in range of this guy because he's gonna stone my molder. I feel like I might need to molder down here actually. What if I they're gonna be go for Murn no matter what I do. 
And I need you to know, take care of these guys too. Fuck. You know, thinking about it, like, why is the Regan life only usable by Ephraim? Because, like, with most Fire Emblem games, the weapon that's, like, the Lord's personal weapon is the Rapier. And that's somewhat understandable, because re a Rapier functions differently and is used differently than, like, your regular, like, broadsword or whatever. You have to, like, use it in a specific stance. Oh, God and damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Look at this range. <laughs> that's so stupid. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hmm. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, good job. Nice heal. Uh, shit. It's okay. We're not, we're not out of here yet. Go here. Uh, we'll bury your Tethys so she might not die. Nice animation. Gotta grind up that warp staff rating. Yeah. And we're gonna dance. I need to turn these off. Uh, solo. Mm, Molder on. Sally. Whatever. Phantom Null. Whatever. Tasha Tethys. Murmur on. Alright, that's good. Uh, I'm gonna go here and grab my Franz real quick. Uh, take this and rescue him off the fucking cliff before he dies. Yay! Come that's here. a good save. That yeah. was a good save. Thank God. <laughs> and what I can do actually, what I just thought of, um, Seth has three range on a short bow, so he can counter the stone spell. So I might be able to put him in range of some of them, like this warrior. Uh, actually not in range yet. Uh, we can put him in front of here, and maybe he'll just block the way to France. Yeah, that kind of works actually. That kind of works. I like it, I think. Yeah. And even if somebody gets stoned, it doesn't really matter because they're out of range of the rest of the enemies. Mm -hmm. I'll just dummy this guy. I'm probably going to be short on actions later on, so might as well get dummies out of the way here. And... God, Mulder, by the end of this chapter, Mulder's going to be level 20. I'm calling it right now. Uh, you're probably not wrong. Probably not wrong. Okay, soldier move on. Uh, I don't need to move soldier up too far, and then they'll summon a new guy. So Just I distract. think I, I think for him to be level 20, he needs to destroy 8 eggs, right? Yeah, or a bunch of enemies. Both of those work, because they're promoted enemies, so they should give a fair bit of XP. Although, he is level 16, so he was, he's not going to get too much. Alright, here goes. Yep, going for Phantom. Good. Mm, Alright, that guy's dead too. I bought Seth a new, silver, uh, new uh, short bow, because, you know, he needs it. Oh. Yes, time to get luck and HP. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> How did I know that? Alright, going for All right, here we Vanessa. Go. Alright, interesting spell animation. I'm so stoned right now. Damn, imagine Vanessa getting crit and dying because of it. Like, normally she would take one damage and she just gets crit for three and she just dies. That'd oh, be real yeah. sad. That's definitely the sad life right there. For sure. Yeah. I on that note, on that note, uh, enemies are... This is the point where, like, you start dealing with enemies that deal a shitload of damage. So I do worry that Vanessa might be in danger here. Oh, yeah. Vanessa has been in danger for, like, several chapters now. But uh, I've been deploying and undeploying her as a C-Fit. In this chapter, I thought she might be useful as a... Way to distract the Shadow Shot Gorgon, but I guess the, the the Phantoms have been doing a good job of that, so not too relevant, I guess. Let's see, how am I going to go about this? I want to move Seth closer to here, for sure, and take care of some of these uh, other enemies. So I guess I'll move him here, and that leaves this way free for some regional life action. Or actually, let's use Soldier for this guy. That works too. Let's try go for Killing Edge so we don't get stoned, maybe. Don't get stoned. Oh, don't, right. you don't you dare. 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 Dodge. Dodge it. Do Logic. Right there. Logic. That animation. Be that, like, just moving your shoulder. Ah. <laughs> no! <laughs> I get fucked. Dude. Oh, God. I almost said get fucked liberal, but I realized that uh. probably wasn't, in, like, appropriate. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. You can't just... Oh. Come on now. Okay, Franz, can you hurt this guy? 25. He can't hurt this guy. Okay. Restore. Guess who's back? Back again. Franz is back. Tell a friend. Oh my god. Okay, I think Mulder's gonna be busy here. Let's take care of some of these loonies here. Uh, go down here, I guess. And uh, if we just put like Mur and Mulder next to each other, these spiders can't go anywhere. I wonder, maybe Mur can die to the spiders because she's not her usual self. She has like zero base stats all around, remember? So yeah. she might not win. I, I think I think they three shot kill her, based uh, on the one I saw. Yeah, I checked before, but I already forgot. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that actually looks like a three shot to me. So as long as she's yeah. not on a fire tile, she should be okay. And this guy can't reach. So yeah, they're okay here. They're fine here. I want to kill this yeah. Valk so I can get up here. Um, mm -hmm. I can actually attack with him. That works. 
Ooh, no, heal, I... heal kills. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, how about that? I could also restore Vanessa, uh, but fuck that shit. That's, you know, uh... I always found Mer's design kind of weird because it's like the more you use her, the stronger she becomes, and then she'll be use useful. But the less, you know, Dragonstone uses she has. But if you don't use her. Then and only use her when like you think she'll be useful. She usually fails to meet like a certain damage threshold, and then you have to train her. Yeah, I I think it's a very interesting like, case of unit balancing where yeah, like there's like a sweet spot where you you have like plenty of dragonstones let uses left, but not so much that like she's like capped out and everything. I don't know. I, I think Mirror's like very interesting. I love using her a lot, but. Uh... It can be like it can feel very bad. Like you don't want to use her for things because she's gonna run out of dragonstones eventually. Like I remember all these game facts guys, those super old ones. They're like, yeah, don't use her too much, but you know you gotta train her like a couple levels. But keep your dragonstone uses because she can never repair it. You cannot have it, You don't get a new one ever. So be careful, but always use her because she's super good. I just I just use her when I find her useful. I think even at base level she's like serviceable to an extent. Yeah. Okay. Um. I just don't want to be in range of the warrior, so I guess we're gonna go here and use a javelin. I want to get Ephraim up here somewhere. Uh, he has like a pretty good shot at killing anything in one hit. Especially the Gorgons that might hatch. I haven't seen any eggs hatch yet. I don't know if that's like normal. It's only turn 4. But I feel like by now you usually see like at least one hatch a little bit. So I'm a little worried. Um, well, normally you don't have a dummy tome that can reach 50 million <laughs> miles away. That's true. Maybe I just killed all the ones that normally hatch. You're right. Uh, but I think they usually hatch at the start of uh, enemy phase, right? Uh, you. Right, yeah, I believe her. so. Kill for her. There you go. Oh, sorry. I had Chipotle earlier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, more HP. That's very welcome. Wow, 7776. It's a, it's a sign. It's a sign. You gotta play Thracia. Uh, uh. Wow. <laughs> that was actually really, really quick. Real huh. quick jape right there. I know, right? Hmm. Yeah, so next couple turns I should be able to kill the eggs that were from the lower right corner and a couple couple units are on the way to the upper left So the only thing I really have to worry about is the upper right section where it's like very crowded But uh, Seth is gonna take care of a couple of goons here This is an easy kill and then uh, hopefully he counters the, the, the guy that's about to like use stone on him and uh, the warrior He'll be fine. Yeah, I think so. It's just his avoid is pretty good, but it's not like you can never Oh, he's using demon surge, I think that's up close. Wow. Okay. Well. Well. Oh, goodbye. Because stone is animation. Three... Hmm. Yeah. Well, demons are just. It's, Actually, one of the, it's yeah. like one of the very few animations like that has an animation even when you have animations off and shit. Yeah. Actually, come to think of it, I think um, physical units like these using a, a monster weapon like this, I think they never have animations. I think it's only yeah. um, like magical units like Natasha, for example. If she were to use demon surge, it would work. But otherwise, I don't think it would. <clears throat> okay, I can probably sort of ignore the Swordmaster and just keep going up here. Because not a whole lot of enemies can really do much to me here. And if he comes close, I can just kill him with someone else. And I could, I'd better just make headway towards getting to the eggs uh, on the upper right part. Um, Murr cannot reach right now, so I can kill this tent with someone else. Uh, I don't want to get hit, but at the same time, I don't want to have him running around doing shit to me. I can heal with Null, I suppose. He doesn't heal much, but he heals some. There you go. And yeah, I I really want Mulder to move up. I guess. Yeah, I feel mm. like m moving Mulder up's a good idea because there's a shitload of eggs up there. Yeah, there's so much to do for him. I want him up there. I'm gonna move here, out of range of the tent, and the next turn I can kill the tent with uh, Mur, and the next two turns I should be able to kill these eggs before they hatch. If not, I can go back yeah. with Mulder and uh, do dummy things. Okay. The, uh, the only thing is that I I think I remember there being reinforcements that pop up down there. I think they already did. I think that was the spiders that I murdered earlier. Maybe. Okay, this I is good. I could be remembering them. <laughs> that's another egg gone. Yeah, he might just level cap, you're right. But uh, that's not going to make me stop using him for sure. <laughs> Whoop. And Soldier doesn't have one to range, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to keep on moving up with everyone else. Franz can reach this egg. That's excellent. It's probably going probably to spawn a couple more spiders here, but that's okay. Man. <laughs> Did I turn off the egg hatching somehow? I don't think I did, because I don't remember how I would ever do that. I have a good well, memory for these kind of things, I, usually. I just think they're low in health. I think that's really it, is that they have a lot of HP, they need to get up to there, and... Oh, wait a minute! I don't think they heal health 
like at the start of each turn. Now, now I think I see what you. But wait, like I think these further away eggs don't start like healing up to the, the max HP until like later. So it might just be that you're getting real close to them real early. I guess, but I don't feel like I'm moving too much faster than Vanilla. And I feel like I've always, always seen him like hatch at some point. I'm gonna dance for Molder because mm -hmm. he's so good. Yeah, I don't know. It's I'm very surprised at how easy it is so far. I'm gonna, I better not jinx myself there. Okay, I'm just gonna move Molder here and uh, get ready for some nuking. I don't want to use the dummy now because then the Swordmaster won't be countered. So I'll just equip with Flux and wait because this will let Natasha come a little bit closer. Actually, I want Natasha up here. I think let's go up here with Natasha. And another healer. Eh, another healer here is fine too. Rescue staff ready. I have two rescue staffs, by the way. I got one earlier. I don't remember. I think I got it from like yeah, five eggs. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yes. They're hatching. Finally. Finally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. fuck yeah. All of them, dude. All of them. There we go. Well, all but one. That's the. <laughs> that one is a late bloomer. Okay. The dilemma is, of course, that Mur, um, will not be able to kill both eggs. I have to kill one with Molder. But that's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Take that. Okay, so I might have to let the tent live for a turn if I want to kill both eggs. And I really want to. I kind of want to see what's in them, though. I'm kind of too curious. Maybe I just kill the tents and then one of these eggs, like here. I feel like we're, I feel like we're going to be sorely disappointed. Like, I don't think there, there was really a way to, like, edit the egg hatching to have something else besides Gorgons. Yeah, I don't even know how that will work. Well... I'm gonna kill one, I'm gonna kill the tent, and we'll see what's inside the other one, I guess. Oh, dude, you know what would be fucking hilarious? If, like, the eggs hatched and it was Ford. <laughs> <laughs> also, the bad news is I can't actually kill the stone guy, so, um, fuck. Uh, I mean, you have a lot of res, right? Yeah, they're never gonna, she's never gonna die to this guy, okay. Uh, I have to kill the egg, because, uh, I, this is, the tent is not a monster, so Mir can't one-shot it. So we're not wait, wait, wait. Hold later. on, hold on. Question: If you get stoned, she can't use the dragon stone, right? So I, her stats yeah. become shit. I think so. Yeah. All right. That uh, might be a problem. Oh well, I think it's still equipped. Actually, I, I thought you meant like countering in combat, but I think she keeps the stat bonuses. I'm pretty sure. Because uh, okay. I remember I was looking at Franz's um, thing earlier when he was uh, stoned, I think, and it still shows his weapon as equipped. So I it see. should be still there. Anyway, that was the boss. He was very difficult. Yeah. I don't know why I even attacked him instead of a Gorgon, but uh, there you have it. Yeah, the boss was just kind of there, just chilling, and then yeah. you destroyed his life. With facts and logic. Alright, highball, why not? Take him so, out. As you can see, as you can see right here, the boss had very low HP, so we used Seth in order to defeat him. <laughs> that is that? a fact. <laughs> I'm trying to do Ben Shapiro. Oh, Ben Shapiro! Not, I thought it was another Mecha very... Donald imitation. I was like, huh? We don't sound like that. Come on. No, no. Uh, I, 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 my Ben Shapiro impression is not very good, but basically it amounts to just sounding like a nerd. Yeah. I mean, that's probably too nice of a way to say it. Uh, don't die to the gargoyle. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Uh, go here, kill. Whoop. Whoop. Drrt. And you know who I should have deployed from this map? Naomi. <laughs> Get it? She's uh, an egg. Which one was? Oh yeah, she's, she's an egg. egg. That's right. Uh, She'd feel right at home with exactly. the late bloomer I, I, at the top. I could, I could release her in the, in, in the wild here. Uh, Thirteen defense. I'm taking sixteen and seventeen. I think that should be okay. Um, up here, please. <laughs> like. Like, we release Naomi into the wild, and it's like, you're free! But free, she's, like, Naomi. too domesticated, so she just immediately gets caught by a hawk or something. <laughs> classic. Classic. Okay, uh, you can actually counterattack, so I can just put him in range, right? Yeah, he's not afraid of this Swordmaster at all. Uh, let's move him here, then. Uh, we could rescue staff someone up. I don't see who we would do, though. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just go here. Trap this guy. Uh, with heal equipped. Move the Ross. And move Null. Dance for Null, I guess, so we can help killing phantoms. And hopefully, hopefully, don't die to the tents with uh, Murr. Uh, who's left? Just no, the phantom. Alright, this phantom gets to stay where he is, so this should be fine. So I think I'm gonna be wrong about the whole level 20 thing. I think Baldur is, uh, he's still got ways to go. Yeah, he's behind on schedule, isn't he? Yeah. So not as not eggs for him. I'm I'm trying to kill things with other people too because I know Molder's gonna level up eventually anyway. 
Alright. Looks like I did the math on Joshua. The question is, did I do the math correctly in the eggs? Will I be able to kill them all before they hatch? I kind of want to see what they would become, though. But I guess I could just let, like, the last one be, uh, like, if I trivialize everything else, I could check the last one. I think I think the issue is that, like, yeah, you can let it hatch, but then that you get less EXP from yeah. it, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a good way to reward the players for playing fast. Alright, goodbye. That was the gargoyle. And there's a tent. Don't stole my mirror. Oh, never mind. She's stoned. Dude, my mirror is so stoned right now. Man, and she was already stoned. Man. Yeah, <laughs> she dragon stoned. <laughs> Whoop. Evil eye, more like evil bye. Yo, God. dude, like, thank God this game doesn't have, like, realistic violence, because <laughs> I would not like to see how it looks like to shoot an arrow into no. that fucking thing. Oh, God, I hate that. I already hate the way that the eyes look. Oh, shit. This is from 3 range, it's not countering either. Oh, thank god. Never punished. 1 XP. All we need. Uh, okay. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that Swordmaster's trying his best. Yeah. Turns out to train did more damage than he did. Okay. Oh, yeah, I just remember that this is a route mission and they have fucking reinforcements that pop up all over the map. Yeah, these are all area-based reinforcements too. Okay. This guy's dead. Maybe you shouldn't even kill that guy with frowns. Maybe she could have killed another guy with frowns, but I I feel like what you could have done is you could have killed the one that was further away with frowns and then killed the nearby one with Swordmaster Jake. Yeah, the, the sad part is I was planning on doing that and I just like straight up forgot somehow. Okay, I'm gonna kill this stone guy before he becomes more annoying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> destroy that sleeve. Dun, 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 dun. These level ups are very deceptive. It's like, yay, getting so much XP, but all he's getting is just like one point of HP, one point of luck. I mean, still gonna be they can turn into a tank eventually, but goddamn. Um, I need to physic him. I don't think I have a physic on him. Like the barrier and the heal. I have a physic here. I could use that to heal Ephraim. Let's see. You have the range though. Nope. Um, how much range do you have anyway? Uh, like seven tiles. So if Ephraim is, like, here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's that big brain shit. Alright, so, yeah. go here, but then he can just, like, heal himself anyway, so what's the point? Let's just go here, and I use the sick moons, and then I hopefully have an elixir somewhere. Get it? Yep. Use it. Because I can't heal with my summoner, because he's just going to die to the spiders. In fact, I'm yeah. pretty sure Ephraim can die to the spiders. Mm, maybe not. Maybe he's fine. I'm a bait well, one away. We sure sulfur. planned it. <laughs> yeah. Killing Edge here. Hopefully that will work. I could always use a Phantom to track one too. I should probably just do that. You have a summon? Nope. This is his summon. Alright, go here. And uh, heal yourself, I guess, if you have a vulnerary. Nope, you don't. I should have healed with you and whatever. 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 Uh, Phantom. Let's see. This is gonna be a bit annoying, but everything else will be okay. I'm gonna flux it up here. Kill the sharp claw spider. Seems like the most dangerous guy out here. Yeah, yeah where yeah, are the claws stuff. on that spider? Yeah. He, he more it's more like he has like just giant twigs to fight you with. No bullying. He's 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 just trying, man. They're just why, why you gotta be? Why you gotta be bully? Why you gotta be bully? Uh, well, because they're big and fat and obese. All right, <laughs> all right. We, we, we fat shaming now. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna fat shame the fuck out of those spiders. Look at how big they are. They need to lay off the fucking dominoes. Man, they're self conscious as it is, man. Why? Why you gotta do this? Why you gotta be like this? Uh, are you fine, Tethys? I didn't check, but I'm assuming you were fine. But maybe you're not fine. Uh, you have ten res. 13 damage. Yeah, she's okay. She's she's all right. I'm gonna go here though. <laughs> I'm just picturing one of those spiders going on like the ketogenic diet now. <laughs> the what diet? I've never heard of this. The ketogenic uh, oh, wait, diet wait, is. Oh wait, wait. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go here. Protect. Must protect. Okay. I think this might be okay, but I'm worried that it's not okay. And if it's not okay, we're gonna see it. A little worried. Oh, oh shit! Oh, I forgot go. one. I ex as a, as expected. Oh nice, nice job, Phantom. Yeah, very disappointed indeed. Oh nice one, monster. 
I mean Phantom, I mean all of you. Okay, we need some dodges here. Because, uh... Well, that's pretty much all we needed, though. Like, that's yeah. the one dodge you needed. Yeah, because I think one of them has Poison Claw, which does less damage. There's no way they're going to two-shot him, even if he has, like... Even if all these had Sharp Claw. But... <sighs> nice one, Ephraim. I'm, I'm glad you haven't changed your growth since you promoted. Man, yeah. that Phantom was clutch. Holy shit. Oh, shit. I got poisons. How about that? You're purple now. Mm-hmm. Man, I really hope I don't get discriminated against now. Oh, well, I'm also a purple shamer, so sorry. Oh, god damn it. I knew I shouldn't have invited a purplist on this stream. <laughs> it's fucking... Yeah, what, what, what kind of thing... What kind of natural thing is purple? <laughs> Dude, and then it's all about just being goes natural, like... man. And, and then somebody goes like, uh, blueberries, and I'm like, no! <laughs> That's not natural. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that kind of natural. Oh, shit. Wow, look at how overkill this is. I think he almost kills two oh, of these in one 69 shot. 69 damage! Yeah, I know, right? Nice, right? <laughs> so nice. <laughs> so nice. That's the, that's the meme number. That's the sex number. Yeah, that's the number that's funny, right, guys? <laughs> if you say it over and over, it'll be funny. Oh, there you go. There's that demon surge animation. Got him. <laughs> when I wake up from this slumber, you're, you'll be so sorry. Okay, that was perfect. That was perfect. That phantom did so much work right there. So good. Can we kill this stupid Swordmaster now? I would hope so. Yay, Vanessa cured something. I don't know what was wrong with her. I think she, was she stoned all along? I think she, yeah, I think I left her stoned right there. <laughs> now, that that, now that that spider's been burned, maybe he'll consider losing some fucking weight. <laughs> <laughs> Poor spider, bro. Okay, I'm gonna just... Instead of burning yourself, how about burning some of that fucking fat, bitch? Is it... That was just a new form of, like, therapy. That was just part of his diet. Oh, 69 EXP! Yay! Yay! I guess. Uh, okay. Time to kill these eggs, because we know no... We know now there's only Gorgons here. Okay. Yeah. That was one. And... I mean, you can hold off on this one, use the summon to do it instead. Uh, that's an option. I wonder how Molder does with the... Uh, the dummy against this this thing. Oh, he actually kills it. That's good. So what we can potentially do is we use Sally to kill both of these, like this, and then we dance. So we do it again. Man. Whoop! Man, Sally is so good with that freaking heal spell of his. <laughs> it's so dumb. Just a little kid walking on a lava tile, attacking with the heal staff. You know, just just to throw a few things. Wow, nice. I don't even remember his growths. I actually looked at some growths earlier because uh, I had to make zero percent growth for uh, a friend who was playing this. So uh, I think I told you this. Did I tell you that Seth actually has 101 in everything in every stat? I uh, I think you told me a while back, but then I forgot. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess you get to learn it again. Anyway, we actually win this turn. Uh... Yeah, so anyway, Mark, uh, <laughs> Seth has 101 in all growth rates. So... <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, I didn't know that. That's so interesting. Always the tone of surprise. Well, that was a, a short chapter as well. I, I kind of like this one. It was kind of weird, though. <laughs> it's kind of weird, Dude, but this chapter is always weird. I love how chapter 18 is named after a crappy Zelda game. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? The two faced something? <laughs> yeah, the two faces of evil. Oh, yeah. Sure, yeah, that was definitely a Zelda reference, definitely. Just like that Master Sword guy in FE3. Remember who I mean, right? Uh, there's a guy in the desert somewhere that has like a Master Sword and looks like a Zelda enemy, I think, or like a Zelda NPC. Oh, you mean like that Berserker? En yes. That enemy is like that's a swordsman but is called a Berserker in the game? Yes, that guy. Why the fuck did they have that one guy just in the desert and then never use that class again? <laughs> just as a Zelda reference, I think. It, it reminds me of a Zelda enemy. Anyway, um, it's, it, I know it only has been five minutes since the last episode, but did you have a story prepared this time? I, uh, I have a shameless promotion, if that'll work. Alright, shameless promotion it is. Alright, so, uh, you know how I said I wasn't gonna do contests anymore and I'm retired and shit? Yes. Well, I'm doing a contest and I'm not retired. Alright, got it. <laughs> yep, it's, it's called Don't Make Fire Emblem, I'll put the link in the description. It's basically SRPG Studio exclusive because, I mean, fuck, man. Alright, uh, if I forget to put it in my description, then feel free to just post a comment, Marky Joe, and I'll pin it. And that way mobile <laughs> users will be able to see it more easily too, because apparently the description is better, better hidden than the comment section. These days. Yeah, I'll, 
I'll just be like, yeah, guys, fuckboy mecha forgot to put it in the description, so, uh, here's Marky Joe picking up the slack over here. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Alright, okay. <laughs> Deal. Next, see you next guys. <laughs> see you next time, guys. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.